And that doesn't look good. We're supposed to be getting some massive storms coming in. So that's going to be fun. Monday morning, October 18th. I don't know what time it is. So I got some reports late last night from a neighbor that some of the mailboxes had been broken into. Uh, stolen mail is a thing, whether it's at your house or it's in a mailbox bank down the street. Like, it was a thing in San Jose. It's a thing here. It's unusual here because we're in a closed community. Our box doesn't seem to be tampered with, but we're down farther in the community at, the, at a dead end street. So I'm guessing that would be why, and ours looks untampered. So I'm gonna walk around and get some pictures. I don't understand not calling the post office and the police. <laughs> I don't understand that nobody's called anybody and the neighbor in question hadn't checked his mail in 10 days. Is that a thing? <laughs> All right, anyway, I'm gonna see what I can see and I'll be back. Okay, so it has been a fun afternoon, but it is six o'clock now, so it's time to turn off the computer as soon as I wake it up. Um, uh, oh, there it is. I spent the afternoon doing some more sketches and chatting with my friend Leslie McGrath while she was also doing some crafting. She was working on some, there we go, fall decor for her house. I was looking for something earlier and I ended up, anybody notice any differences? So I had two, I had two of these, they were single one, they weren't a four cube, or are they? These two here are two, two, two cubes. And you cannot put a shelf inside of them to split the cubes into two. So I moved these down to the end and I moved the four cube that was down there down here and I put the shelf in the top sections. So we have the same kind of bins going all the way across and then I replaced out the bins and drawers that were at the bottom that didn't match. Everything matches. I don't know why that's a thing for me today, but it all matches. I did used to have some drawers over here for those that remember my bits bank and the drawers had like dry botanical nature things in them and jelly plates and stuff and I've redone it and my jelly plates are still in tins but they're in in this big bin here along with my other like stamping stamping tools and stuff like that Pre uh yeah stamping tools and stuff um this one has botanicals and seashells and stuff in it this one has driftwood and feathers and rope and stuff in it um, yes, I have rope in the art room. Don't ask. Uh, and so I like that much better because it's just nice. It's cleaner and it all matches. 
just, I don't know. Good morning, everybody. It is just after 11 a.m. Tuesday, October 19th. And it's just a quiet morning because I got most of my work done yesterday and Sunday. Um, so today, my time is free to play with some new dyes I got and my Sizzix uh, Big Shot and play with cutting out some embellishments I want to use for future journaling pages. So I'm going to work on that today. Um, we're also getting ready to go. And I'm going to problem telling you this because by the time you all see this, I'll be back. But we're getting ready to go to my brother's wedding. Um, he's getting married this weekend in Southern California. So I have started laying out uh, my packing, what I'm going to pack to bring um, I am that person that starts packing way ahead. Um, I don't, I don't pack at the last minute. It's like a hair, like right there. Um, I don't pack at the last minute for lots of reasons, but mostly because I'm obsessive compulsive and I'm afraid of mis uh, forgetting something. So, yeah. <laughs> and I got also got to lay it out to make sure I'm not bringing too much stuff because my husband and I are chronic overpackers. So, anyway. Those are my only two things to do today. Uh, Dad's coming into town tonight. He's going to spend the night. I've got to take him to the airport tomorrow for the same wedding. Um, and um, we're not leaving for a few days yet, but he's going in early so he can hang out with my brother and his fiance and uh, my nephew um, and all of that stuff. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a busy couple of days with Dad here. So I don't know what I'm going to film or what I'm if I'm going to get steps in even later today. I don't have any idea. So anyway, that's it for the minute. I'm going to practice with my Sizzix and I'm going to see how thick a paper these new dyes will cut because I have no idea. I'll be back. Just after lunch, I got a bunch of die cutting done, which was great. All the new dies work great, even on some of the cardstock. So that's that's good. Actually, one of them works better on cardstock than it is regular paper. So good to know. Um, had a nice phone meeting with the new person from the HOA management company uh, about the mailboxes that got broken into in the neighborhood and told her I reported it already to the post office. They're gonna do an additional report. She said, we need to get pictures first. I said, I got some, I'll email them to you. Had a nice chat, so anyway. Uh, my dad's coming into town tonight because I've got to take him to the airport early tomorrow, which I think I said already. Um, I'm not sure we're gonna be able to do or go walking later. My dad can't walk too far, he's got a really bad, he and I have the same knee problem, but his is much worse than mine. He is 82, but anyway, um, I don't know if we will go walking later and if we do, how far he can go. So I'm going to go get some steps now. I don't have any pressing projects to work on anyway, so the timing is good. 
So we're gonna go do that and see what we can see and I'll be back. So my dad will be here any minute, but while we're waiting, I did some um, drawings last night for the people over at Patreon and for my own personal enjoyment. Um, and they can use them as digital downloads or they can print them and hang them on the wall. I, I don't know. I did sign them. And so um, there are two floral drawings based on images I took. Um, this is one. And this is the other one. So these mats I got in a two pack like this. This is this is a pair of the two pack from um, Fred Meyer, which is part of Kroger. And um, they were 37 cents for the pair. I should have bought more. I should have bought more. Um, yeah, I should have bought more if I go there again this week. I'll be looking to see if they have any more. Anyway, they probably won't. Um, I thought when I bought them to take the prints out that are in them, because the prints are cute, I wanted to use them in other artwork. The first pair had these two botanicals that I thought were cute. And then this, these, this pair, of course, has these. But then I also thought, wait, but these are cute mats. You could put some of your own artwork in there and then either sell it or hang it on the wall or give it away or whatever. So cute, right? So here's one. So I'm going to do the other one. And how cute is that? How cute would they be hanging on the wall? So there you go. Whether you're thrifting or you're buying things on clearance, look around for those things that you can repurpose and create into your own unique home decor. Like, it's a good idea. I'm going to keep going. I'll be back. It's 7.28 a.m. Wednesday, October 20th. And I just dropped my dad off at the airport. He's headed down to Southern California for my brother's wedding. So windshield wipers. It's also raining heavily. All right, guys. Um, so it's after six o'clock. We're headed for a walk finally. Um, I spent the afternoon um, working on some stuff up in the art room while chatting with my friend Leslie McGrath and Kathy Whitney. That was a lot of fun. And I started out working on some daily drawing and I'm going to be doing a few pages ahead because we have some stuff going on this weekend, but that led to me cleaning out the daily drawing bag, which led to me realizing it needs washing, which led to me maybe trying temporarily a different kind of daily drawing setup downstairs. Anyway, if you guys want to see what I'm doing and why, let me know, put something down in the comments below. All right. I'll be sharing pictures on social media maybe. So follow me over there. Look at my link tree list link. So find my Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff. Anyway, I made good progress. So it's all good. I've got some cleaning done. I've got garbage cans to empty tomorrow and laundry still to do, but it was all good. All right. We're going to go get some steps in and see what we can see. It's raining a little bit, but not too bad. And see you later. I'll be back. It is, what time is it? I don't even know. 11.02 a.m. Thursday, October 21st. I am up here in the art room and I am working with my gel pens to finish up two journals I um, have been ha have had sitting around for a long time. This one where I was doing um, doodles on black paper and then this one over here, which was the toned tanned journal, which started out as these and then ended up with these botanical inspired. There's only a few pages left. So my goal today is to sit up here and finish both of these. Um, and then maybe find one journal in my collection in the closet of um, colored paper journals to start new and put with the gel pens. Um, I do have one gel pen. I just put it back over here with the other ones. Um, I have quite a little collection. I like the jelly roll gel pens. 
Um, mostly I use the regular Jelly Roll Moonlights and then I have a few souffle colors. And um, this particular one, although it looks like it has ink in it, that sucker is like not coming out. It's dried up. It's, I've tried everything that the Jelly Roll people suggest. None of it works. Like I ripped a hole in the paper trying to like, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna have to see if I can get a new one. I don't, and I don't have a backup. So I just checked, so anyway. just after two, it's like 205. Two journals I started before the pandemic, done. I'm so excited. This is a Strathmore, like soft cover journal, what is it called? Hold on. It's a Strathmore, it just says Strathmore, oh, soft cover art journal. The one I was working in is the toned tan paper, this one. I have another one that was in my closet. I don't remember where I got these or when. I don't like the covers because although I don't care if my covers get messed up and marked up, I prefer it's from my artwork or stickers and not this. Yeah, I don't like that. But I'm going to use them. The paper's fabulous, just FYI. This one is toned gray. I like the challenge of doing some of these drawings on paper that's other than white. I think that's interesting. So anyway, broke out a new one. It'll probably take me two years to get it done, but you know, it's all right. All right, that's it for the moment. On to the next thing. I don't know what that is, but I guess I'll figure it out. I'll be back. So we are headed out for a walk to get some steps in before dinner. It may not be a long walk, one, and I may not get any pictures of video footage, too. Because do you hear that? It's raining. It's not super hard yet, but my guess is it's gonna get harder and cell phones and rainwater don't really mix. So we'll see how this goes. I'll be back. Land, land of much water. And do you think we can easily find umbrellas all the time? No, we did find two, but yeah, we really should get a couple more umbrellas because that's a thing. All right, let's go get some steps in and see what we can see. I'll be back. Oh, I don't think that's a good thing. I don't know what that means. Probably flooding, but I guess we'll find out. It's probably also a good thing I'm not the Wicked Witch or I'd be melting. Oh God, slippery bridge, hold on. Down there uh, on its original volume, that's heck loud. And I just stepped in another giant puddle. My shoes are soaking wet. I think it's time to go home. Um, it is 10 of 7 a.m. Friday, October 22nd. We leave to go to my brother's uh, wedding weekend tomorrow. Um, late tonight, we're celebrating one of the kids' birthdays. Brian, it's his birthday. And we're going to Benihana, I think very late tonight. I haven't had a dinner at eight o'clock at night in a long time. So that's going to be interesting. I'm going to do sit up here at the art room, do some more journaling. I did a little cleaning. I've got to take a couple pictures and send out some um, messages to a couple people. Ask them if they want some supplies I've been holding on to and or trying to sell in the Etsy shop that I purged that I'm not using that should go to good homes that are going to use them. Um... <laughs>
look a little tired and harried. <laughs> so we are now in Ontario, California. San Bernardino. San Bernardino area, sort of. I don't know what county it is, but anyway, you get the idea. We are headed to our hotel. We're here for my brother's wedding. I think I said that in a previous clip. Um, did we realize as we left on the plane, we forgot a couple things at home? Yeah. He forgot his night guard. I just realized just now I forgot my little thing to shave my mustache all the time. I got a shaver. I got a razor on my I have a razor too. I might be using the regular razor rather than the electric buzz bus. So anyway, what are you going to do? Anyway, we're here. Um, it's cloudy. It looks like just back home. <laughs> um, that's okay. But we're headed to a hotel. We're going to get checked in, get cleaned up, rest a bit, and then I guess head over to my brother's. He's having an open house family thing the night before the wedding. So 